read your comments. Sometimes I'll get a comment that blows my mind. Like I've never considered that this could be a thing in The Sims 4. And uh, today is one of those examples. Cause one of you guys said, hey Della, you should renovate the penthouse in The Sims 4 City Living that is in the financial district. And I'm like, there's no penthouse in the financial district. Cause we have the penthouse here in the arts district, Fountain View penthouse, and the one in the fashion district, which is Trendy Tower penthouse. And I was like, oh, they must have got confused with those. No, no, you guys are far more intelligent than I am. Cause how did I never think about this penthouse, the Stargazer Lounge? This is a community lot that I just assumed we couldn't turn into a residential lot. I don't know why I thought that. I swear he only started snoring as soon as I started filming. <laughs> Oh, okay, now you're quiet, okay. This is like a sky bar, okay? And I just never considered that it could be changed to a residential lot, so I have never built a penthouse up here. So of course, I built a penthouse for you guys. The secret penthouse we never knew about. So of course, the first thing that I wanna do is change this lot to a residential lot, because obviously if it's gonna remain a community lot, uh, your Sims aren't gonna be able to live there or buy this penthouse. The next thing I like to do when it comes to building a penthouse is I like to blend it into the building beneath it because I feel like it looks a lot more realistic that way. Because at the end of the day, it's just a lot on top of a building. So it could look really out of place. Like you can just plonk a house up there. So I like to blend it, you know? So that's why I'm kind of looking below the surface. You look at the colors, the views, the shape, the windows, and I'm trying to mirror it as closely as possible. And that way it looks quite convincing and realistic. And we're going to be doing one floor of penthouse. I also really want to pay attention to, um, making this lot perform a little bit better because when we renovated the lot in the fashion district, that was really fun, but it is a laggy lot to play on just because there's so many items on there. And the more items you have, it does um, reduce how well that lot will perform in your gameplay. So you will get lag and things like that. And especially now that the game's a little bit older and there's more and more packs being added, it's, it slows it down a lot. And this is something we saw in The Sims 3. It was kind of like the more packs that got added to it or the more DL DLCs that we got, um, the slower it became to the point where I personally, my experience with, with The Sims 3 was that it eventually became unplayable for gameplay and I would just build in it. And you know, some people, I know a lot of you guys are still playing Sims 3 and you guys, it's working for you. So all the more power to you guys. I just, yeah, in the end, mine just could not work. It was so sad, but it's getting to the point of the game where I'm definitely a little bit more conscious of making sure the lots perform. So I'm reducing sometimes how many objects I put into a build. If I feel like this is a build I'd like to play in, Sometimes you just do builds for fun and just put heaps of clutter in and it doesn't really matter. It's just the fun of building and designing something. But this one, I was like, no, I want, I want you guys to be able to have the best chance at playing in this with reduced lag. So to do that, what I have learned from being lucky enough to work with The Sims officially on a few lots in packs, such as Snowy Escape and the upcoming pack Growing Together, when I built houses for those packs you had to be really really careful with the performance of the lots because you want them to be able to work on lower end systems or computers that might not be as powerful because they want the most players possible to enjoy the game and one of the things I learned was <laughs> repeating a limited amount of wallpapers um, redu reduces you know bad performance so in this lot, we're going to be repeating a lot of the wallpapers. We're going with the monochromatic color scheme, which isn't my personal favorite. I'm not a huge fan of monochrome colors, but being like more black, white, gray, bit of light timber in there. But, you know, I thought let's let's do it for this lot. And then if you guys want to download it, like you guys can add color, you can make it your own, just see it as like a canvas or some of you guys might just really like the simplicity. Um, so it works well, well with performance in that way because it's, you know, a few wallpapers. And then the other the big thing is just making sure that you don't overuse too many items. So it's a little bit more clean cut and yeah, just, I reduced the clutter a little bit. I tried to keep it 
you know, simple. So hopefully you guys like it. And the house features, I think, one main bedroom, which you can see to the right there. And that's going to have like a little seating area. It's going to have a bigger wardrobe and a bigger bathroom. And then there's three other bedrooms. One is a twin room and they all have en suites as well. And they're kind of the exact same configuration and bathroom setup. Uh, repeated which you guys might have seen before I just literally copied and pasted the rooms and I really wanted to have a long corridor because I feel like I don't have enough corridors in my houses which is such a weird thing to say but yeah I just feel like I need more corridors I'm getting to a point in my life where I just want to have my corridor phase all right my hallway phase it's time it's something I haven't done before <laughs> so I've always been like an open plan Queen, but I want that corridor and hallway. So that we're gonna have a big hallway. Uh, we're gonna have lounge room, dining room, a basketball area, which could be anything you wanted. You could totally turn the basketball area into like a high-end library, a studio, recording studio, because what it's gonna look like soon is it's gonna have like glass walls and you can actually see it from the lounge room. And it was a great way to kind of utilize it's really hard in penthouses because they're so big. There's always going to be space in the middle without any windows because the windows are obviously all around the side. So I made sure um, for that skill building room or basketball room to have glass around it. So get the light that goes through the outer rooms, if that makes sense. Um, so that was cool. I mean, of course, we could do separate buildings as a penthouse, but I just feel like that wouldn't look as realistic. I don't know. So the lounge room here, at first I was gonna have this giant TV over a fireplace, which we're doing now. And one thing that bothers me about this TV and fireplace is that the fireplace isn't long enough. I need a modern fireplace that is like three or four tiles long, but currently I think it's only the more traditional ones that are three tiles long. So in the end, we end up doing something a little bit different. We're actually gonna put the fireplace to the side. I've seen it done in a few um, interior design magazines, asymmetry, loving it. So we'll do that soon. And then outside is really simple. There's trees on either end. There's this big long pool. We'll put a hot tub out there, some lounge chairs, good to go. And uh, oh, a table area as well. There is also a bin shoot which you can see oh no there's a mailbox near the lift and then there'll be a bin shoot in the kitchen area there is also a fire alarm i did remember that uh and a temperature gauge because i know sometimes if you guys wow he's really snoring <laughs> i know sometimes you guys see that sometimes you guys miss that i've put in like a fire alarm or something and it is there, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it is there. Oh my gosh, Bowser is so loud today. He, My dog had a bath and um, it's completely knocked him out. He's like, whoa, that was too much for me today. So he's, he's been sleeping for ages and I feel like, I don't know if you find this with your pets, if you have a pet, they fall asleep when you're speaking a lot because it's like, they're like, oh yeah, I know that they're, I can hear them. Okay, now I can go to sleep. <laughs> Otherwise, when you're not speaking, for some reason they don't fall asleep. I don't know if you guys find that. I was toying with this idea of having like lounge rooms that worked off of each other, like back to back couches with a console table in between. This is something I see a lot in like really big homes with huge lounge areas. They have like three lounge rooms in one area. And the way they do that is they kind of, make it all go together by using like the same couches or the same armchairs or the same rug. And yeah, they just kind of make it look like it all works and flows. So I was kind of trying to do that. I think it'd be so weird having like multiple lounge rooms. I can't imagine that. Actually growing up, we did have like a little lounge room. It was actually a fold out couch with like a TV from the nineties. Um, as well as the regular lounge room. So I guess I did technically have two lounge rooms, but the idea of having like, you know, like proper lounge rooms and multiple of them, I wouldn't know where to go. <laughs> I'd be like, which lounge room today? <laughs> I just, it's not something that uh, I'm used to, 
But hey, some people like to have five lounge rooms. Now, this area was tricky because I was like, which way should we put the kitchen? I was also thinking about these two windows on the end. I didn't want to delete them because they really do work that side of the building um, or they fit into that side of the building. Removing them is kind of like deleting the opportunity for it to flow to the lower levels. So I did try and delete them at one point. Um, but... And the reason why I wanted to delete them is because I didn't want the counters to be seen through the window because I didn't think that made a lot of sense <laughs> to like see just the back of a counter. Not that people can really see up that high in a building, but it just seems wrong. So yeah, in the end, I thought it's better to maybe put the kitchen up against the other wall and then have a kitchen island either here or in the end, we actually rotate it, I think. And, and it works well. And then we get to keep the windows as well, which means we get to keep that flow into the side of the house. Also, there was a point where I was going with this idea of a huge kitchen and this was just like, the scale was off the charts even for a penthouse this big. Like it just looks too big. And then I thought it'd be really cool to do like the double benches, which you see in mansions where they have like two bench islands, which again, to me is, is too much like wow but i guess if you entertain a lot and you throw big dinner parties you'd probably need that kind of bench space wouldn't you or if you had caterers and stuff if you live in the high life okay just put the windows back deleting the other counters and yeah once we rotate that bench top it ends up looking really nice in my opinion so yeah, the view is pretty insane here as well. This is actually a really nice penthouse lot. Like, I still can't believe that I don't recall ever using this. Maybe I have renovated it and I just forgot. But in my mind these days, it was just like mind blown to realize that you can turn it into a residential lot. I don't know why. I do not know why. Um, and another thing I wanted to add, these city living windows and doors on the exterior, they are blue, but on the interior, they are clear, which works well on the outside of buildings. But when you want to like use those windows on interior walls or the doors on the interior, it just looks really bad to have one side blue and the other side clear. Now, I wanted to let you guys know that if you do play on PC, um, there is a, there is custom content where someone changed those windows to clear. I can't remember who it was though, but that does exist if you want to get the CC for it. Um, cause I was kind of excited to, to notice that. All right. We've skipped ahead a little bit cause I spent so long on this lounge room trying to perfect it. In the end, I thought that the light, uh, wood on the floor was just very busy with the light wood on the walls as well. And I personally think the concrete looks better. It's a little bit of brutalism and it's not for everyone. But then I was like, oh, maybe we should have more contrast. So I also tried putting down black tiles as well. So you guys will see that soon. And I don't know, I mean, I think it's really up to you guys what you like best. Everyone will be different, whether you like the light timber, the concrete, or the black tiles, you know. And I, it was nice to use these egg chairs as well. I haven't used those for a long time. But yeah. Oh, I was also on YouTube the other day and I got a recommended video from, I don't know who it was. I think it was like an old Victoria's Secret model who's now like married with a baby and they were showing their house. And it was like really brutalist. And it was actually the first time that I've seen a br brutalist home with like a newborn baby. I've never seen that before. And the juxtaposition of like a newborn baby and a brutalist home, I was like, whoa, this is different. I don't, I don't know. I think it's too cold for me, the brutal brutalist thing. But then I always see comments from you guys saying, I love the brutalist. But I don't know, I think it was just like, it was so bizarre seeing like something is soft and new, like a newborn and then just like concrete everywhere. Although I will say the concrete wasn't like the usual gray concrete. It was, I think it had like more of a washed white look to it, like a natural look. Um, but yeah, that was definitely interesting and a bit different. 
it's it's kind of cool how I don't know like I feel like growing up in the 90s where I lived like no one had a brutalist home like that just wasn't a thing and these days like people are really liking the brutalist and the minimal it's kind of it's kind of cool it's kind of cool I also wanted to use this concrete wall controversial concrete wall this is from the desert Lux pack yes yes absolutely love it can't get enough of it but boy oh boy some of you guys do not like this wall I usually have used it in the gray and I feel like maybe I can sway you to like it with the creamy warm color you let me know uh, and also those lights, I think those are from Snowy Escape. They were locked in maybe the new business career or something. So if you guys are like, where are those lights from? That's what that's from. And then this room, I, okay, in the bedrooms, I ended up sneaking more color in. I was trying to be really strict with myself. I was like, Della, you can't use color in this build. You need to do something different. You need to go monochromatic. And uh, yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> to add just a little bit of color in the bedrooms oh I just had to so the bedrooms are colored and they each have their own color theme which is something I like to do just because I feel like it gives each bedroom a different opportunity for a different character but absolutely if you download this you could totally just make it all monochrome as well but um I just had to have a little bit of a sneaky moment and then the bedrooms, I also thought about putting carpet in there, but I could just, I always yeah, ditch the carpet idea. I used to always put carpet in my Sims bedrooms. It was my go-to. And these days I'm like, I just can't do it. I have to have a rug. And if I put a rug on carpet, it doesn't make sense to me. So I have to not have carpet and a rug. If we're going to have carpet, we're having carpet and no rug. It's funny. We develop these like little things that were like, that we have to stick to. A classic green room. Every build has a green or a sage room. It's just what we do here. And also, if you guys are looking for a news update for um, growing together, I did a video yesterday where I basically just got all the information from Sim Gurus on Twitter to Sims uh sims trailers about it to the blog post to simscommunity.com and i just like kind of went over it all because i feel like there's so much information in all these different places it's kind of hard to keep on top of it so if you guys want to watch that i'll also um link that in the description or have it on the screen and then this is the twin room i have got the feedback where you guys ask for kids rooms because sometimes i'll just do like all adult or teen rooms, like just double beds in all the rooms. And I usually do that because I'm like, oh, people just make it into what they want it to be. Like if they have kids in their gameplay, they'll turn it into a kid's bedroom and like tailor it to their personality. But I did see that some of you guys were requesting more kids rooms. So taking that in my stride, here's a kid's room for you. Twin room, very cute. There's something about twin rooms that is just so, so endearing. I don't know. Maybe it's that symmetry of the two twin beds and that they match. It's just really cute. Also love those walls. Those walls are from, uh, I think they're from, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the bowling pack. It's so strange. The bowling pack actually has some really good bits and pieces in it. You wouldn't expect it from a, bo a bowling pack, would you? <laughs> so I'm just going to double check that here. Things are starting to blur together, aren't they? Let me double check. No, I lied. It's not from the bowling pack. They're from a uh, dine out. Dine out. Yeah, dine out did have a good, a few good things in there as well. Um, sometimes you just get things that you wouldn't expect, but I do love those panels. They're a great time. Unicorn there. I'm so excited to get some new family stuff and gameplay. Like I'm so ready for it. I've already made my pot my potential Let's Play family for growing together when we do make some videos on the gameplay. I've already got the family created. When we have growing together, I'll update their hair and clothes and personalities with whatever's new in the pack. But I've already made them. I shared them with uh, members the other day. I'll share them with everyone really soon. But uh, 
yeah, I think you guys will like them. One, I've basically made partners who have grandparents on either side, like parents on either side. And the parents like clash majorly. Like one family is kind of more conservative and the other family is like super eccentric. Um, like the dad wears socks and thongs, which is something that I'm pretty sure my stepdad does. So <laughs> a little bit of inspiration <laughs> from real life there. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to, to playing it and just having some new stuff to do in The Sims. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the gameplay, I've just been waiting for something, you know, to, to spice it up a little bit. This room's like the orange room, clearly. And I was trying really hard to find an orange chair, struggling a little bit to match the bed. But then I was like, ah, yes, my, my handy dandy bowling pack. That's a bowling pack chair. Ah, oh, bowling pack is pretty good. It's kind of random we got a bowling pack. Like, was that something highly requested? Or do you think one of the producers was like, I really like bowling. Can we please make a bowling pack? <laughs> I just felt it was so random. I mean, it's cool, you know, who doesn't love bowling? I gotta be honest though, I don't take my Sims bowling very often, but it's a nice option to have. It just did seem a little bit random. What are the other random packs we have in the Sims for? We can make a whole video on this. It's usually the stuff packs that were a bit funny. Um, We have a lot of fitness stuff. The fitness pack was a bit like, I don't know if we needed this fitness pack. <laughs> Laundry day was not random. Laundry day was great. Mosquito, yeah, bit random. Bit random, for sure. Uh, movie hangout, wouldn't say that's random though. Movie hangout's great. And then the kits, maybe the kits were a bit random, but they're not um, grouped into different kits. So I can't really look at those very easily in my game. I really hope that they allocate kits to different folders in the game so we can or different categories, not folders, because it, it's rough going through all the kits. Kits, kits, kit is a nice name, kit. I like that word. Um, so yeah, really just now finishing up. I've also changed the speed of this to about uh, 200 here. Well, to be honest, it's at 201.9%. And it's just a lot easier on the eyes to slow it down. I'd rather do this, like have portions that you can watch more slowly than have like everything really quick and squished in to a certain amount of time. I've been noticing a lot of you guys like that as well. So I'm glad that's glad that we've worked on our relationship with speed builds. It's a good thing. Cause you know, I love real time builds. I probably prefer filming re real time builds, but sometimes I'm just like, I just want to like build and chill and just, you know, go over it at the end. Uh, do the talking later, particularly when I'm tired. I find speed builds easier to do. So yeah, it's kind of nice to mix it up sometimes. And then we've got to figure out what build to do next. Are we over the apartments or do we want to keep the apartment streak going? Cause we've been doing a lot of apartments lately and I'm like, we could take a break or do we just keep powering through it? You guys gotta let me know in the comments down below. I like this office. I was actually looking up feng shui rules and uh, this is the commanding position. So you see the door from your desk. I believe that's the rule. And I don't think it's meant to be directly in front of you, but slightly to the side. Yeah, pretty cool. But feng shui, like there's so much information online that is just, that is different to, like every website talks about feng shui in a different way. Like they don't follow the same rules. So I actually found it really difficult to even understand the proper rules of feng shui. I was trying to look up floor plans to build in The Sims 4. because so I was gonna do like a feng shui build, but I was like, I, I can't get the facts. Like there's so many different rules that people don't follow. I don't know. And the, there's not really like floor plans per se. They have the grid map or the compass, which you can kind of fit rooms into. But in terms of just like a feng shui layout, I really struggled to find house plans that claim to be feng shui that followed the rules that I was reading about. Like it's almost like they were just 
tying the feng shui name to their house plan, but it wasn't actually feng shui. Maybe like a bit of a, a marketing thing. Oh yeah, this is the center room I was telling you guys about with the windows, uh, which I turn into a basketball area. But you can see here, they, they could be a DJ, they could have a, I don't know, studio, music station. You could do so many things in here. A weird see-through bedroom for someone who likes to show themselves sleeping. You could lock Sims in there and be very mean to them. I don't think you should, but I'm just saying that you could if you really wanted to. We don't do that on this channel though. Just saying. So yeah. Anyway, let's have a final tour of this penthouse and you guys can let me know what you think. Okie dokie, you guys. This is the finished penthouse and I I've got to say I reckon this looks really nice like this might be the penthouse that looks the most like the building beneath it out of all of them although when you do the industrial penthouse it does look pretty good but yeah I would say this is a pretty good exterior what do you guys think are you convinced by it I'm actually proud hey, let me get my sim okay he's in there okay enjoying that balcony all right so this is the entrance you'd come up this lift and see this huge lounge room i'm actually you know how at first i was like i don't like the monochrome but i'm doing it because it's something different i actually don't mind the monochrome i think now that there's like greenery and lights in there it looks okay and i actually really love the fact the tv has nothing under it it's just very minimal and then you can see the fireplace to the left also i'm getting lots of questions about how i'm in this camera mode you press tab if you're on a pc i don't know how you do it on console sorry but this is just tab mode so you press play in your game, you've got your sim moving around, and then you press tab. You can pause them if you want as well. Um, and then you can watch whoever shooting hoops in there, which is kind of nice. Lovely dining area. And then we have the kimchi. I deliberately left this pretty like uncluttered. Then I've got some chairs over here, which is nice. You can just sit there. You could turn that into a bar as well. I just didn't want to cover up those windows too much. I have a weird thing with windows, it, it seems. And uh, then we've got a nice outdoor area. And keep in mind that's partially under cover as well. There's that end. And then the other end, has the hot tub and that really nice lush seating area I actually love this part just all the trees around it is really pretty oh my gosh the camera <laughs> ah. oh bows is out he's like that was too much for me so yeah that's the pool area now where should we go let's just go through these doors because this is the main bedroom you will walk through the doors and you enter this wardrobe room which is quite nice and over here's the bathroom the main bedroom ensuite I guess toilets over there and then through here is kind of a separate room where the bath is and then you can have that gorgeous view while you're in the bathtub what a dream now if you go back out to the wardrobe and go left the bedroom's in that door so you walk into the bedroom and damn look at those high ceilings very minimal like I said but nice and I liked the main bedroom on this corner of the build because they have that like green area to look out to as well as the crazy mountain view okay heading this way we can look into our basketball area which is with a stereo love that and then this is our hallway we have a hallway and if you say it's weird to have lights down the middle it's not I mean it might be but it exists in real life homes because I grew up with a friend and they had a very cool house their dad was an architect and they had lights down the hallway like this but I will tell you, they would burn our feet <laughs> if they'd been on for a while and you stepped on them. I mean, they didn't burn our feet, but they were a bit warm. They're a bit hot. You wouldn't want to leave your foot on them. Oh, interesting room to pick for you. Here's the twin bedroom. Oh, well, you could have twins in this room. And then the bathroom en suite's very nice. And I like that the shower kind of tucks in the corner like that. I like this layout. So it's essentially pretty much the same layout in every other bedroom. So in this one, this is our classic green room. They've got their desk over there. Oh wow, they have the exact same bathroom. And then at the end of the corridor, I think this is the gym. Oh yeah, I like this gym that it's got green in it for a change too. Man, that black um, paneled wallpaper looks really good. Pretty cool. Very nice. And I put this on the wall because it kind of looks like a climbing frame, maybe. And anyway, I always see it at high schools. <laughs> I never knew what they were for, though. Gymnastics? I never did gymnastics, but I feel like gymnastics would be a cool thing to do. This is just like a little nook. It's a little moment 
Oh, that's perking through from the other side. My bad. I just thought that was nice. I like this. And then down here we have the room, the office, and the, the like regular bathroom. So this is our orange room in here. They have the same bathroom as the other two. So I won't show you that again. And then down here to the right is the office. It's quite a nice office. I like how we've used those inset walls to be like bookshelves, quite grand. I think this would be really good for Sims routing, like them getting around. And then of course we need just like a main bathroom for guest use. So yeah, that's it folks. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much to my wonderful members for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you're unable to be a member, no worries, totally understand. I just really appreciate you guys being here and enjoying the videos and just, I just want to make you guys happy, so, you know, you're happy, I'm happy, so that's the way it is. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you'd like to see any more apartment builds, which apartment next, or if you want to see a house build, or if you want to see something completely different, let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you all soon. And I'm very sorry for my dog snoring. He snored a lot today, but uh, yeah. I might have to start kicking him out, but it breaks my heart to do that. I feel so bad. <sighs> might have to toughen up though.